Hey everybody and welcome to Cyberpunk TV. Today we're playing Receiver, which is a game that's been out for at least a couple of years now. Um, but it's a game that's near and dear to my heart that I am not very good at. Um, I watched this game go from being an entry to a game jam to being a fully fledged Steam game to actually being really fun and relatively polished for what it is. Um, Receiver is a game that's very simple. Um, your goal is to move through the environment, uh, protect yourself from threats, and collect tapes, similar to the Slenderman game, but instead of being hunted by Slenderman, you're hunted by merciless killing robots. Um, that sounds pretty exciting. This game's actually pretty chill. Uh, where the difficulty comes in is in how you manipulate your firearm, um, which is what you see on the screen. It's a first-person shooter. Um, you can, yeah, no, nothing can illustrate my point better than that I just dropped my clip on the ground. Um, okay, so in the world of Receiver, you have to manipulate your firearm, every piece of it, from inserting the clips to pulling back the slide and prepping the first bullet to shooting people. And that proves to be the most difficult part of this game, is the fact that basically using the guns is really, really hard. And like I mentioned, um, I'm here looking for 11 tapes in this sort of strange cityscape environment. Um, <coughs> wow, flashlight will help, that's nice. And what I'm trying to do is free myself from this, like, this security measure. So I'm trapped somewhere between being awake and asleep. Hold on. Oh god, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't even kill him. I didn't even kill him. Run. Run, 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 run. Okay, we need to... Oh. Can I get under there, please? Okay. Okay. Um, um, yeah, we're just going to put that away. Pretend that didn't happen. I did not know this gun was fully automatic. Um, but I do now. <laughs> um, how do you change that? Okay, well, that that's good. There we go. Okay. So... I just wasted basically half of my ammunition, um, and it's all gone. Okay. Oops. Did I just throw a good bullet? Yeah, I did. I just threw a good bullet on the ground. Well, see, I actually have a bunch of bullets, so I'm not super worried about that, but let's try not to do that in the future. Um, all right, so... A big part of this game is you wander this environment, you're looking for tapes, that's that's pretty simple, but it's resource management. You have to manage your bullets, and you have to stay vigilant for threats. I mean, that robot can kill you just as surely as anything else in your environment, so... Like this turret. I'm really lucky. Alright, I need to do some gun maintenance. Is that another flashlight? Nice. Well, I don't need another flashlight. Um, but I will take more bullets. Alright, so let's chill in this modern art piece over here for a minute, and I'm gonna try and manipulate my gun. Um, so what I'm trying to do is, I haven't played this game for a really long time, but I'm trying to play it without using the lookup commands, because there's an on-screen help that'll kind of tell you what to do, but I refuse to use it because I should know how to play this game. I've played it a bunch. He said as he pushed the entirely wrong button. All right, so I'm actually going to put that back in, and then I'm going to, like, dump all the bullets out. My one bullet. I'm glad that I took now to do that. All right, so let's remove the empty magazine. The magazine is not empty. Put the magazine back in. Just There we go. That's more like what I expected. All right. Okay. Let's fill this magazine. So how do you fill it? No. No that out how do you put bullets in it what where did that bullet come from um okay oh yeah all right so put no don't put that okay put please <laughs> please bear with me i'll get this eventually all right so put your gun down put the magazine in your inventory put the flashlight in your inventory there we go all right now pick up no put the just leave the gun alone take this out put your gun away Wonderful. Now I can put bullets in here. And I'm going to fill my other magazines while I'm at it. I have no reason not to. Um, except that I accidentally just took out my gun. So there. Go over there. 
there. So I have almost a magazine and a half of ammunition. And um, so this one in number five is full. So let's take that and put that in our gun. Put the thing on. There we go. All right, cool. So that's ready. And so then I can take out my flashlight, if I remember how. Sweet. All right, we're ready to actually move. So as you can tell, that could get really bad in a firefight if you have to handle your business and um, basically fail. Oh, there's a cassette tape. Sweet. Ben, why did I do that? Why? What? Why would? Why would you do that? Why would you push the button that takes out your magazine? Your minds have been spied on. The rules of our world don't apply to yours, and so the threat have made a careful study of listening to your thoughts. The kill drones are the result of this research. When confronting a kill drone, be mindful of their weak points. The main systems that can be damaged are the camera, weapon, motor, and batteries. On a kill drone turret, the batteries and motor are in the body of the weapon. The motor is directly under the turret and the batteries behind that, near the rear of the body enclosure. Targeting specific weak points will make sure every bullet counts. Alright, so he said that the battery is one of their weak points. My bro was right. My bro was not. Okay, 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 okay. Awesome! Oh, did you guys see that? I just got, took out three of them. Well, of course you saw that. That's the sorry. That's the whole reason you're watching this video. <laughs> it's to watch me play this game. Um. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so there's a turret somewhere, and I did not see where it is. There you are. Come here, you. I gotta. I gotta stop. I gotta stop that. Okay, that did not go well at all. Um, I just went through half of my ammunition. I gotta, I gotta be smarter. What? Oh, I must have hit its firing mechanism. <laughs> it can't kill me. Okay, never mind. Alright, um... A waste. <laughs> my 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 mentor, my narrator is telling me, you know, make every shot count, and I'm just over here spraying and praying, like I'm playing Shadow Warrior, or Duke Nukem, or something. Stop. Okay, here we go. That did not go the way I wanted it to. No. That was wasteful. That was wasteful. I apologize to the viewers for that. That was I was I was getting scared. The turrets make turrets make me nervous, man. I don't like them. I never know if I actually hit their like their firing brain or not. There. Got to be close to out of ammunition on this trip on this clip, so I'm not going to push too far forward. But I'm going to try to get that guy, too. Never mind. I got greedy. I got greedy. I got greedy and I got shot. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, what do we got? What do we... <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's we'll pick all that up. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll put... <sighs> Put that oh crap away. Put that other crap away. Put the bullets in that crap. There we go. Wonderful. Alright. Um oh just a flashlight and a tape. Alright, we're gonna do this. Just hold on. Um A receiver is said to be awake when he is able to get a completely clear signal, free of any subconscious corruption. In this state, he will be able to see realities in their true form 
and transcend normal human limitations. Although some of the receivers we choose to speak through are advanced in their ability, no human has yet achieved this awakened state. Humans exist in two worlds. In reality B, they live and work in their shadow bodies. In reality A, they are asleep, their minds unconcerned and roaming free. But humans have the unrealized potential to exist fully in both realities. It is this reason why humans are threatened. If even one of them achieved an awakened state, they would see beyond the horizon of all known understanding. So I didn't really talk about this game that much, but this game is almost entirely procedurally generated. Um, and it's not procedurally generated as in the elements inside a room. It's each of the rooms are a building block, and it builds the game out of those building blocks. So I think due to luck of the draw, we got a couple of tapes in a row here. Um, I'm not really sure. Please have your provided firearm operation manual ready for reference while listening to this tape. The 1911 uh, A1 is an automatic loading pistol with an 8 round capacity magazine. Is that the gun I have? The weapon can be discharged using a trigger marked LMB in your manual. Oops. All firearms are extremely that. dangerous. Engage the safety, see figure V, and holster it in the tilde fashion for your protection. Figure E shows the correct procedure for ejecting the magazine, also shown as the technique for dropping the magazine for a faster reload. Z shows how to handle various aspects of reloading. When the weapon is loaded, a round can be chambered by the slide marked R. A hammer marked F in the diagram can be cocked manually. Correct aiming can be executed in two ways. Image RMB shows the primary method, while image Q shows an alternate method that may work better for some people. Um, Extra magazines okay. can be stored in your harness. The pockets are shown labeled 1 through 10. Finally, Diagram G shows the correct procedure for retrieving items from the ground while armed. While this is the standard for operation, keep in mind that alternate schemes may fit some individuals better. In the trying times ahead, efficient gun use will be critical. Memorizing this information may save your life. Okay, so we've got part diary, part audio log, part instruction manual? What's going on here? What is this tape? I just... there's nothing. This tape's blank. Oops. <laughs> Video games have made me a very bad receiver. I deserve that. I deserve that so bad. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, what is this? This used to be my favorite gun back when I used to play this game. This is, because this is so easy, you can just check your ammo. Um, I mean, you only have six shots, but it's so good. All right, this one I'm actually, I'm feeling confident now. I've got my favorite gun. I should not feel confident. I should be scared. Scared is safe. Holy turret, I see what I'm gonna get the drop on you. Come here, you little bastard. I see you. Alright, so guys, I wanted to take back what I said about being good with this gun. Um, get out. <laughs> I'm not any better. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm just universally mediocre at this game. Oh, I see. Oh! Oh, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. And my favorite gun and everything. Oh, nice. Alright, I'll take it. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Or always look a gift horse in the mouth? I think it's never. Well... For my purposes, it's never, anyway. They want to give me my favorite gun, they can give me my favorite gun. Oh, crack shot. Did you see that? Owned that guy. All right. Um, because I have such a small capacity, I'm actually going to um, open the chamber. 
dump all the bullets on the ground, find the ones I spent, and pick up everyone except for that. There. <laughs> oh, what's up? Flashlight. Nice. Alright, so I don't... Hmm. I try to get up here. Maybe there's, like, a vantage point that lets me see, like, where I should be going. I mean, I guess not. That might have been too much to ask for. I don't see anything over there. Let's go this way. There, there's a... Is that a drone? It is. Like, it doesn't look like a drone. It, it is, though. Alright, I'm gonna shoot it and see what happens. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna take them out before they even see me. That's awesome. Suck it. I know there's one more over there. Um, I only have one bullet. I only have one bullet. Oh. Crap, 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 crap. Crap, 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 crap. Get out of here. That's 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 a good noise. That's a that's a good noise. Okay, so that thing's chilling over there. Didn't fall out of the sky though. Dude, I'm I'm pretty proud of myself. I was pretty calm under pressure. I think I cursed though. I'm sorry, Brian, if if that's the case. Uh -oh. Your minds have been spied on. The rules of the car world don't apply to yours, and so the threat of made a careful step. Never mind. We'll listen to that one next time. <laughs> uh, every time I get confident, every time I get, I get, oh, crap. I don't even, do I even have a clip for this gun? I do. Let's holster the gun. Holster the gun. Holster the gun. Oh, they give me almost a full clip. That's really nice of them. I mean, it's the only clip I have, but... Alright. Hmm. Ouch. <laughs> Never get used to that. Never get used to that. Alright. don't understand these like double helix like DNA strand staircases are really kind of a pain in the butt to navigate but it seems to be a pretty common thing that they they run you through here there's some bullets on the other side hold on here oh crap very graceful almost busted my head <laughs> where'd they go Are they on the other side how far did I go down? Not not that far. What is going on here? Okay, whatever. We're going on. We're just going without him. Okay. 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 I see you. I see you over there. Crack shot. Nice. Old turd under the stairs trick. And didn't fall for it. Alright, um. Stay frosty, stay vigilant. Here we go. What is this? It's a weird crystal. I guess part of my imperfect dream. Hello? Anything in here? I can't see crap. Never mind. Alright. See that turret. That's not fair. Not fair at all. Oh my god. <laughs> oh guys, I don't know. Um alright, I think I got one more one more run. We'll 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 make one more run. I'm gonna put the bullets back in my gun. Give me a second here. Alright, just, just 
take out all the bullets, all of them. Great. Put that away. Put that there. Put that away. Pick up all the bullets. Put away the pistol. Fill this. Beautiful. Let's put that on the ground. Perfect. That's exactly what I meant. Put that in your gun. See, and now, do I need it? I think I need a chamber of bullet. Like, I can see it. But I don't... Nope, I did not need a chamber of bullet. Never mind. Um, I have never really needed a chamber of bullet. I should probably just stop trying to be clever and do that. I'll fill this one too while I'm at it. All right. Locked and loaded, ready for war. Oh, see, I see a turret. I see a turret in the next room. We're gonna, we're gonna take it. Oh, I see two turrets. We're gonna take it real slow and gentle. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna try to play it safe. We're gonna be a good receiver. Crap! 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 I totally forgot that that's a thing. Oh, I forgot to check that. Oh, that's that scared me a little bit. Okay, put that in. Close the thing. Nope. How do you... Great. That'd be great. Can we please pick that up? And while we're at it, can we pick this up? Can we put this in there? Um, there. That'll take it off of... It. Did I get hit? Did I get winged? No. Okay. What is up? I just hit you... I hit you in the motor, it seems. Battery pack? I bet you're deadly if I shoot you. I'm, I can't leave you. I can't leave you alive. There. Alright. There. Not graceful, but it got the job done. Also not graceful, but it got the job done. I think I'm out of bullets, though. Um, okay, hold on. I'm not walking through any doorways until after I've assessed the situation. Put that over there. Put that over there. So I indeed have no no dollars, no bullets. Um, great. We're just going to have to try and sneak. I'm not particularly thinking very highly of my chances, but we'll see what I can do. Can't you, can I jump over that? Or can I crouch under it? I can kind of crouch through it. All right. There's a few bullets. Nice. Okay, we're gonna, oh, there's a whole bunch. I'm gonna bet you they're guarded. That's much better. All right, I'm much, I feel much less dire about our situation now. We have like five bullets. All right. Okay, I've learned that you have to crouch or glitch through these. I don't, like I don't really seem able to, yeah, like I shouldn't really be able to do that, should I? Like I shouldn't be able to glitch through them. I don't, I don't really know. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Don't, don't, wait, just, just don't fire too soon. There. With those drones the hitting the outer ring, really, it hits them, it makes contact, but it doesn't really do anything. You have to hit the body. Hold on a second. There we go. I think I'm going to go up and I'm going to go try to go back across the roof of the building rather than go through the middle. I have a better chance of spotting the turrets if I go this way. I hope. That's my plan anyway. Whoa. What is... Okay. There we go. So I never even got close to collecting all of the tapes my best was three, and that's when he gave them all to me right in sequence. 
Speak if of the you devil. Are listening to this tape, it means you have survived the mind kill. Previous attempts to listen to this tape would have found it blank, but now it contains immediate instructions of your difficult path forward. What? This is the time that we have prepared for. Take a moment now to find your firearm. Okay, got that. Firearm. Check. Some of you will be familiar with firearms from our training camp, but more recent receivers will have focused on mind tech in order to survive the mind kill event. In either case, please take a moment to confirm that the firearm you have been issued is in working order and contains one full magazine. You have also been issued one tape deck with headphones and two AA batteries. Once you have checked your equipment, leave the safe cell. Keep moving and be careful. The threat will have dreamed kill drones near your location. So the firearms... I don't think things are exactly the way this guy planned, because my firearm did not come with a full magazine, and in fact, our equipment has kind of been jacked up this whole time. But what is he talking about with the mind kill event? So like, we were stuck here, and people who were not mentally prepared were like just straight up killed? Like what, what does that mean? Um, I have no idea. Maybe we'll get some insight. You see reality painted in shades of black, but beyond your world is another, bathed in radiant light. We have reached out to you with a warning. If you are able to hear our message, you are one of the few that we can help. We call you receivers. Okay, so we're, we are receivers. The speaking these words was chosen because he is able to hear us with exceptional clarity. With time, you too could learn this mind to tech. But time is not something we have. There is a threat to everyone on your planet, and they have been weakening your mind through your media, lowering your natural defenses. The coming what attack is world? unavoidable. All we can do is prepare. Okay, so the mind kill was some sort of brainwashing technique. So they lowered our defenses through, like, TV, audio, and music, and stuff like that, until we were all basically defenseless, and then they just, like, shut us off. Like a computer. And so who are the people that are speaking through Captain Monotone? Our, like, our, our bro here. Um, but they're not receivers. So receivers are human beings that can receive whatever transmissions they're putting down. And some of the time... Are we different people every time we play this game? Because last time, I had a blank tape. I wasn't able to understand what they said. I, it was just blank. And so, it must have been that that particular receiver was not strong enough to get through all the tapes. Which means maybe you can't even complete this game from every save file. Man, I should talk and play this game more often because I'm much better at it now. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break here. Um... To be fair, I'm getting pretty good at this. Uh, all right. Locked and loaded, buddy. All right, what were you guarding? A nice, clean bathroom. So whatever's hunting us is dreaming just like we are, but it can't influence the real world the same way we can. All it can do is plant these drones, these, what does he call them, kill drones? I don't really understand that part. I've found the weakness of the- oh shit. <sighs> Sorry about that, Brian. Um, I guess I should probably explain that. For those of you that don't know, um, I made a deal with my friend Brian to try and swear less on the channel because not only is it just not useful, it doesn't really amount to anything and there's no real point, but sometimes I get scared. He'll understand. I, if you sh ooh, shoot, if you shoot the motor on these things, man, th that's business, that's money, that's what you want to do. Aim for that base. Oops. Look at that, that's so good. And you know what? You too. Oh crap. Alright, I panicked a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. 
This is getting crazy. Whatever is hunting me is, like, getting mad. Um. There's something else. Oh, it's that other one. Okay. Some of them, uh, that always scares me. If you recently started receiving, you may wonder why the training tapes are so important. Over the last several decades, your media has been slowly corrupted to be used against you. By feeding your mind a constant stream of damaging ideas, your view of reality has been warped to fit into a sinister agenda. How can one tape listened to once possibly have an impact on the face of a lifetime of accumulated deception? It can only have the smallest effect, but even that small effect can be built on. If you listen to that tape 100 times, you may notice a difference in how you feel. If you listen to the tape a thousand times, you will be transformed. And if you listen to the tape a million times, you will become more than you are, an awake receiver. Listen to as many tapes as you can. Listen to them as often as you can. Okay, so the tapes. Something in the background of the tapes or something in the foreground of the tapes? The instructions... The instructions reset their mind control? That's really interesting. We're starting to get somewhere in this game, and not, I don't just mean good at killing drones, I mean, we're starting to actually get a few answers. Um, or at least, we know to ask the right questions. <laughs> Suck it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, where are you? Oh no. I knew, I heard the zap, and I knew I was done. All right, guys, um, I think that's plenty of the receiver. Uh, if you like this game and you want to figure out what's happening, uh, you can pick it up on Steam, and if you collect all the tapes, tell me what the hell this game is about. Um, other than that, until next time, guys.